Hey everyone, today we're going to talk about perhaps my favorite tube, perhaps my favorite uh, ECC83 12x7 type. Uh, we're talking about Philips Herlin Holland, uh, hopefully I pronounced it right. I excuse myself to all the Dutch people, they know it how to say it right, but I say Herlin, I hope like I'm close to it. But anyways, these tubes are phenomenal, they're my, I can easily say my favorite type. Uh, here we have three different types. One is like uh, 50s long plate. Those are the short plates from the 60s. And last but not least, here are the uh, short plates from the 70s. Um, they all are phenomenal tubes. They all have very great uh, sound range. In any guitar amp, it's gonna sound just phenomenal. I can guarantee you that. Uh, the long play types are my favorite. This one, this tube particularly was made in late 50s. I think the code here is MC6 Delta 8L. If I, yes, I know you can see it on the camera, but uh, yeah. So this is, I think it's 1958. Uh, this is my favorite out of them all. Uh, this one has a really phenomenal uh, bass range. Uh, the mids are nice and smooth and the top end is very uh, sparkly yet. Uh, it's it's polished. It's not like, you know, uh, any annoying frequencies. Very, very good. Great tube. This is definitely perhaps my favorite and by the way this one is a uh, you can see it inside of this one it has a square getter type and this is the other version of same tube uh, this one I think it was uh, marked Rios uh, this one the other one is Trio Trauma they're both made in Herlin Holland uh, this one has uh, uh, ring getter it's a slightly, slightly different sounding. This one has a little bit more uh, richer bass range than the other one. But uh, overall, they're both phenomenal sounding tubes. Um, then we're moving into 60s. Now I have uh, a... This one is just marked Mini Watt. And this one is marked Philips Mini Watt, which is kind of faded away, unfortunately. But uh, those tubes, uh, they, are, they both have ring getter and uh, they sound phenomenal. They have amazing, amazing compression in a guitar amp. It sounds like the mids are very rich, the top end, it's nice and balanced and the bass uh, is nice and thumpy. Great tube, uh, sounds incredible to my ears uh, in any guitar amp should do really well I think and my least favorite yet yeah, doesn't mean it's not good but those are the 70s version uh, and this one has dimpled getter I think this is how it's called uh, this tube um, perhaps is to my ears at least distorting and maybe it's just a little bit too strong on a on the top end. I think it's just a little bit too bright for for my opinion, of course. But it's a still overall great tube. So any choice you would choose for your any or guitar amp to put on any kinds of Philips Mini Watt uh, made in Herlin Holland, it's a great choice. You can't go wrong. Uh, you know, I I honestly think uh, those are my favorite types but you know I, I like all kinds of vintage tubes and so forth so uh but yeah so hope you like this video subscribe and uh next time sometime in the future we're gonna even give this uh, uh, a, a sound try so we're gonna record something with it and compare so uh yeah but otherwise philips mini watts great great tubes made in holland vintage new old stock all right uh have a great day Bye.